second game of the day here. We have Chinese Taipei up against Bangladesh to round off the round robins from yesterday. And this will see who goes where in which tier of the finals for later on today. We have Chinese Taipei in the blue strip and Bangladesh in the red. We'll have Bangladesh kicking off, running from right to left of your screen. And knock on there from Chinese Taipei, giving Bangladesh an early opportunity here with the scrum. And it's great to see the ladies game picking up and growing so quickly in Asia. Um, often the ladies game a bit neglected. Um, and it's, it's so good to see that we've got so many women down here playing. Certainly in Indonesia, the game is growing at a rate of knots. Um, some good club structures supporting that. And uh, we're looking forward to, to seeing some of these ladies showcase their talent today. Chinese Taipei using the short blind here. This action is right in front of the commentary box. It's great to see these girls battle it out. Not releasing there, referee pulls it up. Bangladesh need to go back 10. The ref calls it up again. The refs find a knock on and she'll call the scrum. Twisting scrum here, and the ref has bl has called it up. Now then, Bangladesh with a chance. Good defense. The Chinese Taipei coming in from an offside position at that ruck. Um, simple error, soft penalty actually. And here come Bangladesh again. That's three penalties in a row there. Penalizing Chinese Taipei, offside. Yeah, I think they're gonna have to watch themselves there. If they're gonna continue at this rate, someone's gonna pick up a card for the team. Alisa Islam now. To Billy Akhtar. Great step inside. Roy, Roy on the inside. That's another penalty, and I think the referee will pull it up this time. Time off. And you're right, Ryan. This one has resulted in a card. Yeah. Yai Hui Chang. Uh, not necessarily a, a serious penalty, but obviously the recipient of all the mistakes the team's made so far. It's Islam. Islam with a run. Bangladesh, five minutes out from the try line. And it looks like Rubna Akta. Rubna Akta's in for the first try of the game. And gets it under the poles. Great finish there by Bangladesh. Uh, great reward for lots of pressure. And it's the Akta sisters there combining for that try. Uh, picking up this try was Rubina Akta. And she uh, so...
certainly keeping that pressure on against Chinese Taipei. So with that unconverted try, it's Bangladesh 5-0 here in the opening game of the women's R&R, &R, or round robin. Chinese Taipei with a kick, but he didn't go too far. And now it's one of the actor sisters. No, it's Kabita Roy. Kabita Roy with fantastic pace there. Um, picked up that ball and just untouchable, too fast. It's good pressure from uh, Bangladesh to keep the Chinese Taipei deep within their half, and it's resulted in another try. Yeah, and Kabita Roy has had her, her hands on the ball a few times, a couple of steps, a couple of runs into contact, but certainly with a bit of space, she's shown the pace she's got, and uh, she's going to be difficult to handle if they give her that much space. Another unsuccessful attempt there, and the score remains Bangladesh 10, Chinese Taipei 0. Nice deep restart here from Bangladesh, keeping the Chinese Taipei in their 22. And again, they've come up with some fundamental errors. And it's these small errors, Ryan, that can cost them the game. Yeah, and again, another knock-on with very little pressure on. Um, I think if Chinese Taipei can just relax a little bit, keep their hands on the ball, build a little bit of continuity, uh, they can get themselves back into this. Free kick to Bangladesh. What will they do? Belly actor with the ball. Belly actor to Roy. And Roy creating some space for herself, trying to use her pace to get on the outside. And it's come up dividends for her again. Great try there for Bangladesh and uh, for Kabita Roy. That's her second one for the game. Excellent work. She certainly backed herself there, and uh, this confidence is really is trickling through the whole Bangladesh women's side. They are now up 15. Oh, well, what do we have here? Oh, no, the ref's called touch. Touch, I just called that one out. So, a line out here to Chinese Taipei. And Kawita Roy will just have to try again. <laughs> Great effort. Overthrow on the line out from Chinese Taipei, but they do regather. Now let's see what the Chinese type A can do, running the ball out deep from their half. Lovely break, well played, putting the ball down and playing it again. Now they've got a bit of width. Can Roy catch her? She's certainly got the pace, but will she make the tackle? Yes, she does. Great cover defense there from Bangladesh. And Bangladesh eventually managing to scramble that ball into touch. Uh, good effort there by Chinese Taipei, and they showed the potential they've got to break that line and get themselves up the park. So let's see, let's watch out for them in the second half. Half time here in the game, Chinese Taipei versus Bangladesh. We have Bangladesh leading with three unconverted tries, 15 to nil. Very entertaining, some, some speedy uh, players here in the Bangladesh team. We have Roy, we have actors, and they've definitely proved their speed and it proved to be a little bit too much for Chinese Taipei at the moment.
Yeah, Bobby, all to play for in the second half. Chinese Taipei, only two tries down. So uh, it's not that Bangladesh have got this game in the bag. Uh, if they keep doing what they're doing, they'll certainly be able to hang on to that. But uh, there's still there's still a hint from Chinese Taipei that they've got what it takes to come back into this. Let's see how the uh, Chinese Taipei will react. They need to strike early. They need to score early. They're 15-0 down. All to play for. Chinese Taipei will get us started in the second half, and they'll be running from right to left on your screen. The referee blows the whistle, and we're underway. That didn't go 10. The referee calls it up, and it'll be a Bangladesh ball. Yeah, another unforced error there, unfortunately, for Chinese Taipei. Small, small margins here. That ball almost traveled the 10, but uh, unfortunately, it's given Bangladesh another opportunity to attack. This is one of the actor sisters making some good yards here, taking the Taipei defense on, but she's lost the ball. Ooh, that's a big hit there from number 10, Alisa Islam. The big don't argue here from Chinese Taipei. Get it out wide. She just used the space there. They were away. Certainly had the numbers out wide. Yeah, not rolling away, Bangladesh. Time off from the referee. I think she's winded here. Looks like Li Wen Lin from Chinese Taipei playing in the number seven jersey. And Some a fantastic medical team out here in Jakarta. Um, quick to get onto the pitch and, and offer great support as they've done all the way through the tournament. That was some good counter-attack there from uh, Chinese Taipei. And again, in the game of Rugby Sevens, counter-attack is key. Putting the defence back on their back foot. And Chinese Taipei now find themselves five metres into Bangladesh's half. And what Chinese Taipei showed in that attack is that they certainly do have the players to make those breaks and get themselves up the park. They've just got to look for that last pass, and if they make that final pass, they're back in the game. So we have a replacement. Number one for Chinese Taipei will make her presence in the game we have Kun Yi Kuo she takes the first run Kun Yi big number one great tackle by Alisa Islam she's been all over the park today we have another referee referee not uh, playing the advantage here Chinese Taipei making some yards here, looking for the pass. And again, a small, small unforced error there. And we've got Another the knock, knock on, on and the ball back to Bangladesh. Again, the, these small errors costing Chinese Taipei, eating time away. It's still 15-0 to Bangladesh. Scrum feed and win for Bangladesh. Ball went backwards. Good chase and aggressive defense here from Chinese Taipei. Putting the pressure back on Bangladesh, forcing them back towards their line. And there's the knock on. Chinese Taipei in. Can they get there? It's been knocked on on the line. White line fever from Chinese Taipei. That was a big chance there from Chinese Taipei. They were inches away from the line, but unfortunately, she lost the ball. And now Bangladesh breathe a sigh of relief, packing the scrum, 15 out from their own try line. It'll be a line out, I'm sorry, line out for Chinese Taipei. So they will have another crack at the line. Good line out.
Stepping back in there, big number two, Jiao Yun Liu. It's the big number one. She so suddenly stopped at the line, but number six has got it over finally. It's Sai Ping Wei for Chinese Taipei. Ryan, I thought I just saw someone just stop at the line there. What happened there? I think Kunyi Ku was just uh, playing a team game, you know, sharing is caring, and she just held up a few, def got a few defenders onto her and then looked to, to give it to one of her teammates to score. Well, she did the hard yards there. Kunyi Ku finding her number six. That kick is unsuccessful. The score now is Bangladesh 15, Chinese Taipei 5. And Chinese Taipei still have three minutes in this game. And uh, the way they're playing, it's certainly giving them enough time to come back into the game. It's a big, deep kick there from Chinese Taipei to get it started. Right in the corner, that's a good kick. Let's see how Bangladesh will react. Yeah, change of tactics there. Went for the short kick on the, the last kickoff, and that came up slightly short of the 10, this time pushing it into the corner, and probably going to look to put some pressure on Bangladesh at this line-out, and uh, keep them pinned back and push for the score themselves. Knock on there from uh, Bangladesh. Very risky play there with that uh, front ball in the, in the line out. Yeah, they're looking to go to their, their star player today, um, Alisa Islam, who's been all over the park, playing in the front row, but certainly made uh, a lot of tackles and a lot of ground today and maybe looking to get themselves out with a safe ball there. But uh, it's backfired, and here come Chinese Taipei. Their chance to get back into the game, and number two has done so for Chinese Taipei. That was Jiao Yun Luo with a try to put the score now. Bangladesh 15, Taipei 10 with a kick to come. Certainly a lot more energy in this Chinese Taipei team as we're getting closer towards the end. And only five points now in the game with a kick to come. Still the five points in it. And uh, Bangladesh looking to hang on for these last 90 seconds of the game. This is what it's all about. And a change for Bangladesh. We've got number three, Rupia Akta, on the park. And coming off, number two, Belly Akta. That's a good kick there from uh, Bangladesh. They're on the attack. Now Bangladesh, 10 metres into Taipei's territory. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, just a correction here on the scoreline. Before the halftime, there was nearly a try from, from Bangladesh, but the referee disallowed it. So a correction here from the officials. It is 10 all. Chinese Taipei 10, Bangladesh 10. It's going down to the wire, Ryan. There's only 20 seconds to go in this game. It's anyone's game. Yeah, and Chinese Taipei, it's been their half this half. They've had all the ball, all the running. Um, certainly looking to make some line breaks here. And with this last chance, let's see if they can use the width and get themselves on the scoreboard. Final throw of the dice here. Chinese Taipei with the ball after that scrum win. They throw it left. Look at it back herself. Great handoff. It's Yahui, but the uh, Bangladesh defense comes across. And that's full time, 10 all. Full time. The referee has called time, and that is the end of time for this game. Bangladesh 10, Chinese Taipei 10. Tale of two halves there, but all Bangladesh first half, all Chinese Taipei second half.